We're here in beautiful Park City here, and of course we're at the Slamdance Film Festival. You know, one of the reasons why we're here today is to celebrate Joe and Anthony Russo, alumni who first showed their works at Slamdance in 1997 with a film called Pieces. The award is called the Founders Award, and it sort of describes really what it is. Anthony and Joe really did help found Slamdance in the sense of they were here at the very beginning of Slam Dance in the early days in 1997 and that's why we're really honored to give them the Founders Award this year. Receiving the Founders Award today I think means an incredible amount to us. It's a very uh, it's a very emotional journey that we've been on as filmmakers and you know we came here to Park City uh, you know uh, with absolutely no connection to the film business mm. and the support that we received at Slam Dance and the exposure received is the, is the reason we're standing here today. I'd like to welcome up our moderator for this discussion, Sandra Burton Laffey. Sandra, welcome. Thank you. And of course, our special guests and alumni, Anthony and Joe Russo. Thank you for this great introduction. Hey, how are you? It's deja vu. Oh, yeah. The chairs are still as shitty as they were 20 years ago. These are way better. Yeah. I'm wondering to learn more about the film that brought you here in the first place, Pieces. How did that movie come about? Where did the idea come to you? And what's the film about? It was more of a, a, a way of um, studying film uh, uh, by executing it. And so it was a very um, radical narrative. Uh, not dissimilar to Soderbergh's Schizopolis. So I think when Steven saw our movie, he really responded to it. Even though the movie was sort of radically anti-commercial, it never occurred to us that it, would ne it wasn't going to get a distribution. You know, we thought for sure it was somehow going to find its way to theaters. So Steven was like, well, I can try to look for something for you guys, but really the best thing would be, because we wrote the first film as well, Pieces, he's like, you guys should just write another script. And, uh, you know, we spent a year and a half sitting on the couch at, at Steven's company. It was called Section 8 and you'd walk in the front door and there would be the reception area and there was a couch off to the right where you'd see the Russo brothers with the telephone uh, making phone calls trying to generate interest from actors in, in our scripts. And um, so this was a, you know, it was the, working odd jobs and, you know, trying to raise a child and, uh, you know, going through all the pain that you go through and our, our debt kept mounting up and we still had all the credit cards and we were barely, barely paying the interest on them and um, it was a, you know, it was a seven or eight year overnight success story. <laughs> you know, if you look at our road to here, you could never have predicted it. Um, we, we weren't necessarily uh, driving toward this as a goal. You know, like Joe was describing earlier, we've always been excited by the variety of what you can do as a filmmaker. And we've always been turned on by trying to push ourselves into areas where, that we haven't explored yet because we feel that has like a really, that excites us creatively and we feel like it gives us new tools to play with, new formats to play with, to perhaps ho hopefully come up with more original expressions. For young filmmakers, I'd say get out there and experiment with narrative because somebody is going to introduce a new way to tell stories and in 20 years we're gonna have, I think, a very different, more immersive uh, uh, experience of storytelling. Thank you so much. Thanks for this discussion. Thank you everyone for being here. There's an award that we would like to give Anthony and Joe. Um, it's the Founders Award. Anthony and Joe, congratulations. Founders Award of 2018, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very